Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to talk about the ladder language that we have on the software. So let's go to the presentation. So the idea on this, uh, on this part of the training is to focus on where the elements are located in the ladder language and how to build some basic uh, logic, basically how you can interact with the elements and in order to do your logic okay this explanation that you saw in there in the in the presentation is regarding or is related to the uh, online help that i took it from the machine expert online help that basically explains the basics of the ladder basically the ladder uh, is based on contacts and coils okay and you can read the program from uh, left to right and then it's similar to a circuit, a network circuit that's started from the left or the high from the left or the high potential, and then it goes to the right um, where they have the low potential. Okay, how to low? It's like a closing a circuit. And in the middle, from the contacts and calls, you can use some function blocks. Okay, that's probably something new or it's not new, but uh, it extends to the ladder. Okay, and it goes a little bit for the function block diagram. So. Once we have created a PoU on the machine expert as a type of the language as ladder, we have different kind of views at different elements. So that's what we cover in this video. So if we continue with the presentation, okay. Here's this explanation how to add basically a PoU. If we go to right click from one of the tools three, uh, the application tree, you should be able to add the POU, change the name that you have. Let me just do, do, do. Yeah, change the name that you have. Then you have the possibility to select the different type of POUs. Okay. And below you can see the language. If you want to use ladder, we just need to select this. And if you select the ladder next to the POU that you have already created, you should be able to see a contact over there. Now just change this view to this view so once you create the POU okay you can see in the top this toolbar and here is a small explanation of the different toolbars that we have so the first three or the first two elements is related to the how you can create the ranks okay that for example if you are familiar with the MT21 they call it ranks okay uh, here we call it uh, networks and then we have the control of the branches okay uh, next to this we have the comments and then we have all regarding to the contacts different kind of contacts that we have okay you can see set reset to negation to, neg to negate then add a parallel then the next one call uh, contact the next two with the pnn is for the edge it's just to detect that the edge change on the variables that we have then we have the timers then you have the counters then you have the arithmetic logic the function blocks okay then you have the comparison blocks next to it you have the calling functions and here it's an extent uh, we cover but we cover this in details later because the idea is to give you an overview where to find the elements and then in another video I'm going to show you how to use them in a different kind of language okay that's the idea so you can compare later so if we continue with this you have the jump then the label also to have the return and here you have also the same functionalities that you have before over here so if we continue with this those elements that you have on this toolbar they are also accessible on the toolbox so if you're not able to see the toolbox you should be able to access into the view then software catalog and then the toolbox we should be enabled over there this view that you see over here is not the same as the software i made some modifications uh, so i can show you all of them okay but as you can see here, 
uh, you can see the complete or the same uh, different blocks that I showed you before. Uh, all of these are basically the same. Okay, as I show you in here, this part over here. Then you have the, 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 the timers. This one are different compared to the to, 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 to the age that they are not in there. Um, to, 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 I didn't go. I didn't want to go in details, but you have the coils with with the you have the contacts with the possibility to detect the edge, and then you have the possibility to add a function block so you can detect the complete edge. Uh, but I'm going to cover that later. The idea now is to give you an overview where to find the stuff or, or the different elements of the software. Okay, so let's continue with the presentation. Then something useful is to modify the view that you have of the of the ladder. Okay, you also have the instruction list and function block diagram, but I'm going to focus only on the ladder. Okay, you have the possibility to select different views of the elements that you have. Okay, that in order to access to this, we just need to go to tools, options, and then select the function blocks FBD, LD, and LID IL editor. Okay, so what I want you to test is how to get familiar with this. So, what we're going to try to do is to not define variables over here. Okay, we're going to go over that later in another video, but I'm going to get familiar how to design these drawings. Okay, so let's start by creating a PUU first. So if we go to the software, we should be in application three over here. Right click, add object, PUU. I'm going to define PUU ladder. Okay, it's just a name here the implementation language as a program as you can see here in the top this toolbar has appeared okay and once you select the network you should be able to be able to see some of the variables if you want to add more runs on network we just need to press this okay if you want to insert to just add a new one let me just add something here Okay, this one is to be insert, it's going to be above, below. Okay, and this one is going to create a new one. Okay, at the bottom. Uh, next, above this one. Okay, so this one just create, insert a new one. So in the, in the network that you have on the network, it will create a new one. Okay, and this one is going to create one one below. You can see in there, just a small arrow indicating that. If you use this one, it will toggle, it will comment the rank that you have. You can see it's everything in green. Okay, so let's delete all this that we have. Okay, now if you add some additional function blocks, as you can see right here, this should be over here. Okay, in the presentation, I didn't show anything over there. Okay, it wasn't open because it will depend on your application that you have. So if we go back to software over here, so this is easy. We just need to click on the device or click on the on the network and then select one of the positions in order to add something new. Okay, easy as that. Then if you want to have a different coil, okay, a different or another action, we just need to enable this insert branch. Then you should be able to add another coil over there. Okay, it's simple, easy. If you want to add a variable over there or a function block, you just need to select one position on the network and then you can use the empty Okay, this one basically add a function block with the enable input and enable output. This. And then here you just need to find the function block that you want. 
or you can use this one okay to add the variable that you have if you select this it will ask you to find first the the function block that you want and then you will add it okay but this one is going to be much easier to identify so i'm going to delete this now let's try to make the the drawing that we have over here just done a minute so we just need to add a new network okay i'm going to add a coin here i'm going to add this move variable that if you go to the toolbox general you should be able to see the move or it should be the move over there okay ladder elements you can drag and drop it and define where you want to put it move then i need to add a branch over here okay but sometimes when you don't you are not able to see this to add this part okay what i usually do is to add a new contact here in the middle of the branch and then delete it i believe that would be the simplest way and if you add a new one like this okay so continue with this part you just need to click over there in the branch and select this insert branch below so here you just need to add the set and that's it and this one the timer you have different timers over here okay and that's all okay so this part is already complete okay so now if we continue so below we need to add this one this one's going to be easy also so add this if you want to add a parallel you just need to use this okay and then you can have the branches over there okay branches and then you can have the coil you can delete this part and that's it so i'm going to uh, delete this this just to get familiar with the different options in case you don't you cannot create a, the logic that you want here i'm going to add this one try to replicate this the coil here in the middle insert branch this i can specify the reset and there here the next one this and then this one in parallel so there are different ways of how you can create the logic of course this it doesn't make any sense i really don't know it's just a drawing okay so you can get familiar how to create the code in case you want okay so the main important thing here on the language of the ladder language is to identify where the elements are located so it's important for you to know that there is a toolbox there is a specific toolbar that is only available when you are in ladder okay so another features that we can have is regarding the options of the views so if we go to online no sorry tools options fdld here you should be able to see uh, more information in case you want to read your code okay if you go to ladder i never use this to be honest but which is important this part how to view the variables so if you are in here you can see that you have like a title for example drawing one here you can have some comments explanation of how to use different elements okay so this is allowed you to easily identify the variables and everything and uh, imagine now that you have let me see why do i have here 
Da, da, da. Let's add an address over here. This variable and the view 10 initialization. No, the comment. So, um, uh, common counter. So, if I use this w counter variable in my ladder, you should be able to see more information of the variable. So, if I use, for example, gbl dot w counter, you have this information. So, by default, if final round, you don't have the possibility to see the the comments or the address of the variable. So. If it's good to add this information one to work so it's going to be easy for you to understand where the information or what the variables or what the variable does uh let's add uh, this one uh example boolean and here the address uh percentage uh mx and dot zero i forget the definition Let's see if I'm wrong or not. Uh, GBL dot. <laughs> if this one there. So you can see there you have more information. So probably it's going to take more more views. OK, but uh, more space on your screen. But it's going to be useful for you if you have to find uh, comments. And then you also see the, the model's address for the variable you can also zoom in zoom out with using the control and the wheel okay you can zoom in zoom out in case you want it so this is good okay the other thing that you can see and i'm going to show you i don't remember by default where is the view uh but you can check it on your side so network title is this one say drawing show network comment is this one explanation uh short box icon is the icon if the function block has an icon operand comment i don't remember to be honest uh but here you can select this and check it and check the comments and you can see how it's going to be the view it's going to be a simple way but it's also it's useful to have the complete view and all the values that you have just to easily read the code when you're working with it okay so this is it for the ladder language. Remember that this is only an overview of how to find the elements. It's not the complete explanation of how to make the logic. I'm not going to explain the how to create the logic in this part. What I'm going to do later is to add different um, the explanation of the different function blocks that we have in the complete in different languages. So you also compare how uh how they work okay so this is it for the ladder language so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one